Alrighty, let's get into this. So we're asked to prove an identity in part A of this question. Now, don't stress about this bit here. In fact, I'm a little bit confused myself because in AS maths, we only work in degrees, like 90 degrees and, and so on. But in A2, you learn about radians and 90 degrees is actually pi over two. What this is saying is we can't have any, we can't have x equal to 90. That would be when n is one. Uh, when n is 3, it would be 270. We can't have any of these because actually cos would equal 0 there. So basically, it's just defining the, the well, something called the domain of this identity. We're not allowed certain values of x. Um, for our case, we don't have to worry about it too much, but I just I feel like it could be confusing when you first see it, especially when it starts bringing pi's into it. Right, well, let's look at the left-hand side. You know what? That's the one that I think we can combine get the right hand side. So it's going to be cos x plus sin x times tan x, which I'm going to write as sin x over cos x. Okay, I can now put it over a common denominator. I can times this term by cos and put it all over cos x. I've done a couple of steps there in one, but that would give me exactly the same thing. And the reason that this is great is that cos squared plus sine squared is just identical to 1. So we get 1 over cos x, which is the right-hand side. And we're done. Proof complete. Going from the right to the left, I can't even imagine where you'd start. You know, you wouldn't think to do that. Um, but that's how you'd have to do it. So the left-hand side is definitely the one to go with. In part B, we're asked to solve an equation. just for 0 to 180. Okay, so what I'm going to do is divide through by cos squared, because then that will give me sine squared over cos squared, which is tan squared. And that will equal 1. It doesn't become 0. Cos squared divided by cos squared is 1. And then divide by 2 to get a half. You could do it. You could divide by 2 first of all if you preferred. Okay. Remember, this is tan x all squared, so I want to get back to tan x. I'm going to square root. But don't forget, it's going to be plus or minus two possible solutions. Let's sketch the graph of tan. So we're only actually interested between 0 and 180. It's going to look like this between these values. And I'm going to get one solution for the positive root 1 over 2 and one solution for the negative. I can see that's going to happen. So x is going to be inverse tan square root of 1 over 2 or inverse tan of minus square root. That was the math error, or syntax error, actually. Okay, that will be okay. So 35.264. I personally would write down a few figures and then round it to three significant figures. 35.3 degrees. And then, okay, we get minus 35.26, but we add on 180. Tan is periodic about 180 to get the actual solution, so I'm not even going to quote the negative one. 144.73. But for three significant figures, that's just going to become 145 degrees. Great. 